on today's show. The Game Awards will be shorter this year, per Jeff Keighley. The Last of Us TV show releases its first full trailer. And Smash Bros. drama. What is Nintendo thinking? All coming at you next. What's up, everybody? I'm Russ Dornish for Crossfire Faith and Gaming, and welcome to Crossfire News. And let's just jump into the news. The Game Awards are coming up this week on November 8th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Of course, while the show is about awards, it has become a big event for gamers as some companies use it to reveal their new and upcoming game releases. However, Expect things this year to be a little bit more streamlined than previous years. In a Twitter Spaces event, host Jeff Keighley stated, One thing we're doing this year is we're trying to make the show a little bit shorter. I won't say anything official until we're through our rehearsals, but we think it's going to be a significantly shorter show this year. We think there's a little bit of fatigue about how long the show has been. There are a lot of games and lots of things that want to be part of it, but we're cutting back on those things to hopefully have a bit more of a streamlined show. End quote. Up for grabs is the coveted Game of the Year award alongside many others, with the Game of the Year seemingly coming down to God of War Ragnarok and Elden Ring. Will you be watching the show live? And who do you think will come home with the hardware this year? Comment down below. This week, Comic-Con Brazil took place where a number of new trailers were shown. One of the biggest was the reveal of the full trailer for HBO's Last of Us TV show. The trailer showed a ton of footage and dialogue ranging from newer scenes to fan favorite scenes and characters. We finally heard Bella Ramsey as Ellie, as well as glimpses of David and also Joel's video game voice actor Troy Baker in one scene as well. Make sure you go and watch the full trailer with audio to find out more. The show is set to debut on HBO on January 15th and expect a lot of coverage for the show right here on Crossfire. Are you a fan of The Last of Us and planning to watch or a newcomer and excited to see what it is all about? Let us know. Finally, some more drama in the gaming industry as Smash Bro fans everywhere are entrenched in a battle with Nintendo. The world-famous Smash Bros. World Tour was recently canceled by organizers' video game boot camp. They claimed that it was Nintendo that shut them down due to their new Smash Bros. event titled Panda Global. After being asked about the cancellation, Nintendo stated that video game boot camp and them could not come to an agreement on licensing for their event, including, but not limited to, health restrictions that were not met. In the same statement, Nintendo said that 2022 events could continue, but not in 2023. Again, since that statement, we have now seen yet again another he said, she said between a small organization and a much bigger corporation. Due to Nintendo's rocky past with their fans and fan events or even fan of promotion, many Smash fans have rallied around the Smash World Tour and decided for a boycott of the new Panda Global event. There is so much back and forth, it is truly hard to know what is happening. But if you know, simply looking at Nintendo's creator program for streaming, it has always seemed that Nintendo very much likes controlling its properties, marketing, and who can cover Nintendo, making the Smash World Tour's side seem that much more believable. What do you think? Is this Nintendo or video game boot camp's fault? Or is this another example of Nintendo cracking down on their properties let us know down below as for this week's new releases there isn't much coming out in a way of game releases this week but we did miss a few games that came out at the end of last week those games included the callisto protocol marvel's midnight suns and need for speed unbound make sure you join us next week as there are quite a number of big name games coming out next week in december so stay tuned for that. I'm Russ Dornish, your host for Crossfire News. You're loved, you belong, you matter. God bless, and we'll see you next time.